Hey guys, it's 21 Maxwell here, and welcome to episode 34 of the Glasgow Rangers save. You join us here in the first game after the SPL split. It looks likely this could be the game that wraps up the title, so that's why I've decided to do the video here. Um, as I said, it was I was unsure how the split was going to go, how, where our fixtures were going to go, who we're going to play, and the like. So, we're having a game against Kilmarnock, we're 14 points clear of Celtic, the way it's turned out, so I said we should beat them. And a win here, we'd keep the gap at 14 points with only 12 to play. Which would give us a third league championship. So we'll do a video here, and we'll probably do a video at the end of the season as well, just reviewing everything and reviewing the awards and such. Uh, since the last video, which was the game against St Johnson in the Cup final, we're taking on Kilmarnock away from home, where a Craig White and double and an Alexander Scott goal gave us a 3 0 win on their dodgy park. We then took on St Johnson, which was a strange game. They took the lead for Chris Kane. Isaiah Brown gives a goal back. We pushed on for the winner to go overload. They scored for Michael O'Hara in before Isaiah Brown gave us the 2 2 draw. In our last game there, we rested the team a little bit. Gave likes of Stephen May a chance. It gave um, Ryan Christie an opportunity as well. Uh, Stephen May got the double. Christie had a couple of opportunities. And Danny Wilson made it 3 0 and quite a comfortable victory, if I'm honest. So I say we're going to this game against Kilmarnock. 14 points clear. 5 games to go. We're going to win the title. Let's find out. So Celtics away at Partick Thistle. We don't want to come on. Look, we should win it. I really do think we'll win. That's why I'm optimistic. This will be the game that clinches us the title. The team's already been picked. Pretty standard team. Usual team. And here we go. 47 favourites against the Kelly side that are just inside the top split and made it just to no more. A point ahead of St Mary. They're 41 outsiders. They're missing their top goal scorer. Now do you see why I'm so confident? 4-5-1, a couple of uh, familiar faces there, Jordan Archer, Ross Barber, Zane Francis Angle, Charlie Adam, Grant Gillespie, Ewan O'Connell, and then I even likes of Chris Johnson, Danny Redman in the bench. So they've got a bit of quality, but I'd like to think that us, with the players that we've got, the names we've got, we should see this one out, and hopefully pick up our third league title in a row, and our, our third in four seasons since we've come back up. So could we see a possible nine in a row? It's always hard to say. One season it could go completely wrong, but if we keep this up, we keep developing the players that we've, we've done. You know, if we keep bringing in like some more Fuentes and, and selling the, the Fuentes we've got on for mass profit, then I, I don't see how not. But there you go, it's a great start there. Stevie Lawless puts part of this 1 0 up, which means we're 15 points clear, and that's us not even winning. So it's looking good, looking likely it's going to be a, a league championship. Partick 1, Celtic 1, Raul Ruescu, and he scored again, so Celtic's right back in it. So at the moment, the league championship hasn't been wrapped up. Celtic will survive just and no more. It's 12 points. But you'd like to think with the goal difference, we should be fine. I'll go aggressive, because I want to win it today. We'll bring Stevie May on for Asaya Brown, give him a good opportunity. So we'll leave everybody else in the right positions. Because everybody's motivated, they think we can get the win here. It's just a case of can we break this Kilmarnock rear guard down. Robertson to Joaquin and to Schoff, out to Robertson to Stevie May. And Schoff, and it's a great save from Archer. And Stevie May, it's a wide, it's out for a corner. Or at least we're getting opportunities here, we just need to take one of them. Give ourselves that little opportunity to take, and hopefully score Celtics now 2 2 Callum Higginbottom for Partick Thistle and Stevie May from about 14 15 yards with an absolute raspar into the top corner. The keeper's not saving that, and the long haired wonder does it again. So it's out to Robertson, good ball in, headed away from Connolly, balls to Scott, nice little header, and on the volley, Stevie May. You're not picking that out the back of the net, you ain't saving that goal, no problem. 16 points clear. And looking more and more likely, like it's going to be a league championship. Yedlin to Bon Gartlinger, back to Yedlin. Craig White in 2 0. That's it. Celtic did score to go 3 2 up there with a rescue scoring again. But Craig White looks like he's clinched the championship and gives us a two goal cushion here. Just excellent work. I don't know why Keaton runs away from Bon Gartlinger there. Well done, Yedlin, keep it in. Good control by Craig White. And he puts it in the back of the net. For a 2 0 lead with 25 minutes to go. Just a case of holding out, making sure we get the points, and we should be sorted. If we get a third, even better. 
It'll be interesting to see what, if we can get an interception though by O'Connell. Does Aberdeen go 2 1 up against Inverness? Oh, it's a terrible mistake there, and well, it's a wee bit of dodginess now. Anani in there. From the mistake from Jimenez, just tried to be too casual at the back, putting it back to Danny Wilson. And the striker puts it in the back of the net there. He should just clear it, but decides to play it back. Awful position, should never do that. That's just stupid from Jimenez. And Cole Marnock capitalised. Let's hope they don't score again. Redmond in, Schoff away. The chase is on the defender against Craig Whiten. But Zane Francis angle does enough and gets it back to Jordan Archer. It was a lovely wall up. We just need our boys to get it. Here's Whiten. Got a lot of space in this left hand side if you can find Andy Robertson. He's got him. Robertson with the ball in. Stevie May! And that's it. Surely now game over. Great finish from Stevie. And with that going in, we'll give a chance for Instant Callat right back. And Ryan Christie will get the nod instead of Craig Whiten. As we hopefully see this game out, i uh, have a little SPL title party. So good ball there for Stevie May, out to Andy Robertson, good ball in, bit of reflection, and Stevie May puts in the back of the net, so great stuff there. The gap's again 14 points, surely now it must be game over. Interesting, Matt Kilmarnock have had more of the possession. But I'd like to think we're in a comfortable enough position to see this game out and get our SPL Championship. Hey, Aberdeen go 3 1 up. Still looking pretty solid in third place. As we just finish off the last five minutes here, we're going to make it four. Schoff in. It's back to Wilson, to Schoff again. Robertson, and he makes it four. Game over. Andrew Robertson, his first goal for the club. Has to be the goal that wins as the title. But good persistence for the boys there. Wilson out to Schoff and then Robertson. One touch by the man. Back of the net and Archer. Can do nothing about it. So great to see. Great victory for the boys. Celtic scored a fourth as well. Ruesco, who's got a mental amount of goals this season. And then St. Gallas tackle there. But a good win nonetheless. And job done. Professional job. Maybe it took us a little longer to get going, but in the end, we have the win, and we are the SPL champions this season, so very happy with that, well done boys. 23 shots to 7, man in the match, Scott with 2 assists and 8.7 rating. This is 14 points clear, with just 12 to play for. I got a wee achievement saying domination. Quick wee check on Steam to see what that means I've won. Steam decides to load up. Well, that's happening. I'll just tell you the now. Domination is the three consecutive top division titles. That's perfect because we've won three in a row. You see, I risk you with his goals there, meaning that he's now got 32 goals, which is amazing considering he's probably played 30 games. So he is a quality striker that Celtic have got. He's probably the reason why they're not six like last season and why they're up challenging for the title. But I say, good to see we've won the league. 14 points clear, 12 to play for. And we'll just see there the likes of. Rangers do the double. I went the Scottish Hall of Fame, even better. It's fantastic. I think we'll just quickly check that Hall of Fame. Yep, so that's three Premier League wins, one Scottish Championship, one Scottish Cup, and four League Cups. And that'll be in five seasons, that's not bad. It's only one year we haven't won anything, and that was the 2015 16 season, but I'm quite happy with that. Looking good. And that's us, SPL champions, for the third season in a row. So we'll do a full round up, as I say, after the Partick Festival game. We'll do a video where we play the Partick game and then we'll look at all the awards and such at the end of that. And we'll start looking at where we're going to build for next season. So thank you for tuning in, guys. I, say I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you get any comments, leave in the comment section as always. And until next time, this is 21 Maxwell. And I'll speak to you again real soon. Bye bye.